been a while since my last video. Heck. After a long and hard hiatus from making YouTube videos, I wanted to try something that's different from my normal, high quality <laughs> content. So, I decided to explore the riveting territory of a classic YouTube content farmer, tier list videos. If you've clicked this video, there's a 99.999% chance that you've seen one of these totally original videos before. If you've been living on Mars for the past two years or so, a tier list video is a video that ranks categories of things into tiers based on their quality. Based on the title and thumbnail, you probably already know what I'm going to do my tier list on. It is something that is near and dear to my heart, the National Parks of the United States. The United States created national parks in order to preserve America's most impressive landscapes. While it was originally used to protect landscapes for recreational activities, it has now progressed to, mostly, protect wilderness. As of the recording of this video, there are 63 national parks scattered all throughout the U.S.'s domain. While each one of them, mostly, protects something special and thus should, mostly, be praised, not all national parks are created equally. Since I'm a gigantic national park nerd, I thought that it would be a fantastic idea to categorize each national park into a tier list. Before we get started with the tier list, I need to make a few things clear. Firstly, I have not been to each and every one of the 63 parks. As of the recording of this video, I have been to these national parks. Because I have first-hand experience with these parks, there may be a slight bias towards them. But I personally think that it's barely noticeable. I was diligent in making sure that I thoroughly researched the 55 other parks that I have not visited in order to make the tier list valuable. Secondly, I will be using four criteria in order to judge each park. Those criteria are value. What does a park actually protect? Effectiveness. How well does a park protect whatever it's supposed to protect? Uniqueness. What qualities does a park have that makes it stand out from other similar parks? And finally, iconism. What value does a park have in making the United States the United States? Because I don't want this tier list to turn into one giant popularity contest, iconism will be given less overall weight than the other categories. Lastly, this tier list will almost certainly be subject to change. As I visit more and more parks, I might gain a new perspective on the value of a park. In addition to that, new parks get added and removed from the national park list all the time. Due to those factors, I will likely be making update videos in the future. If you want to see that content or just like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so, so much to me. Anyways, I've been talking for a little too long. Let's get straight into this tier list starting with the F tiers. Before I reveal to you guys what my one and only F tier park is, I think that we should play a little game, okay? Out of these places, which one is a national park? Is it A. Monument Valley, B. Mount Rushmore, or C. The St. Louis Gateway Arch? If you guessed C, you would be correct! Okay, 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 so, you remember in the intro when I said mostly and giant asterisks appeared on the screen? Yeah, well, those asterisks refer to this park right here, the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri. Bruh. I don't know about you guys, but I honestly have no idea why this is a national park. Literally, in the notes that I ha have written for this park, I literally just wrote, why? Like, why is this park a national park? Ugh, I hate it so much, I hate it so much. I just want it to stop being a national park, okay? Like, I guess I should give some reasons, like, number one, it's so small. 
Literally, it is the smallest national park in the country. It is so small that I could walk around it in like 30 minutes. It is so small that I can count the trees. How? Ugh. And then number two for why this park absolutely sucks. What is it protecting? What? Geese? Rats? Ants? What is it protecting? Like, okay. Listen, 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 listen. The arch? The arch is cool, okay? It, it's pretty cool. But is it National Park cool? No! Oh. And the worst part about it, the worst part about this park is just like the message behind it. You see, this arch represents the westward expansion that the United States had during the time. Hence why it's called the Gateway Arch. It's like a gate to the west, okay? And in like a nebulous void, that's not really problematic. However, once you start looking a little deep into it, and I don't want to bring like politics or whatever into this, but it kind of represents like the grim reality that like Native Americans got relocated and millions probably of people died, you know, what doing westward expansion. So in my in my humble opinion, I personally feel like this park has like a bad meaning behind it. And I personally think, you know, it should still be like protected. It just shouldn't be a national park. Like why? Why? Why is it a national park? Why? 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 <clears throat> so, I think we could say with absolute confidence that this solidly belongs in a tier. Like no, no joke, if you think this park deserves anything more than F tier, you're delusional. I'm sorry. Alright, moving on from this stupid park, let's get into the D tiers, I guess. It's not really going to get much better from here, but whatever. Going into the D tiers, we have... Now... Hot Spring National Park in Arkansas. I'ma be straight up, this park is like very, 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 very close to being F tier. The only reason why I put it in D tier is because, I mean, I feel mostly indifferent about it. Like, is it boring? Yes, absolutely. Is it small? Yes, absolutely. But at least it's not Gateway Arch. But the main thing about why this is D tier is because it literally only has one hot spring. A national park called Hot Springs only has one hot spring. <laughs> uh, this park is pitiful, dude. This park is pitiful. Yeah. You know, I feel bad for this park. I really do. That's why I can't go into it as hard as I can with Gateway Arch. I don't know just a boring, pitiful, sad park. Solid D tier. I don't have much else to say about it. Next D tier is... Now with Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio, I actually do have a lot of things to say about it. Unfortunately, almost none of those things are actually positive. This national park is higher than Hot Springs and uh, Gateway Arch because it's bigger, it has more nature to protect. You know, I can respect that. What I can't respect is how darn recreational it is. Like, look at this! Look! Look at this image from space! Like, where is the woods? Where are the national, the freaking forests, dude? It's like half of it looks like a golf course. And that's not even going into the fact that I'm pretty sure this park was only created because of the Cuyahoga River incident. If you want to look that up, do it at your own risk. It's uh, pretty strange. This national park just looks dirty. It looks wrong. It looks like the park that I visit, like, you know, to play frisbee. This isn't a park I would go to to look at nature because basically the only nature that I could see are deer. Which, 
By the way, I see all the time. I don't know. This part just pisses me off. I don't like it. But at least it's like bigger and whatever. So, Solid Deep here again. Bad park. Whatever. <clears throat> and the next park is. Indiana Dunes in Indiana is small, boring, and the water is polluted as frick. Need I say more? D tier. Our next D tier is... Arizona's very own Petrified Forest National Park. I just think this park is pretty boring, you know, like, it's somewhat small, the desert looks cool, like, these desert pictures are pretty appealing, I like that, you know, but that's not really the main, uh, contributing factor for this park. You wanna know what the main contributing factor is? Trees that are rocks. Wow. Exciting. Riveting. Not. Mm. I don't have much else to say about this park. D tier, boring park, whatever. Our next national park is... Yep. Yep. I know, I know a lot of you are not gonna like this. And trust me, this is absolutely, by far, the hottest take in this video. Shenandoah National Park, in my home state of Virginia. I desperately wanted to put this park in C tier. Desperately. However, I just can't. I just can't. And the reason why that is, is this is my most visited national park. I have visited this national park two times now, which doesn't sound like a lot. But then again, there's 63 national parks. I'll probably only see most national parks one time in my life. And I visited it when it was in its prime in August, when all the leaves are colorful and stuff. So I I've really gotten to know this national park, and I just can't put it in seats here. It kills me. It kills me that I can't put this national park. And the reason why it is, is the main factor the main driving force of this national park, Skyline Drive. That is the main factor, the fact that you can drive on the mountains. But here's the thing, normally you would want to go in autumn. You know, leaves are in full color, it looks beautiful, trust me, I know. However, the fact that there's only one road running the whole way down, traffic is terrible. And then there's obviously other driving factors, like the tallest peak in this a national park, Hawksbill Summit, or Hawksbill Peak, whatever it's called. It is only like 4,500 feet tall. It's impressive, but not really. And then there's a waterfall, which is impressive, but not really. You know, that's, that's my biggest problem with this national park. It's just that nothing really impresses me. Like, I can say that because I visited it, but it's just like nothing impresses me to the same degree that other national parks in the at general Appalachian region do. I don't know. I just can't. I just can't. The bad experiences that I've had in the park just kind of ruin it for me. Maybe one day I'll have an enlightening. Hopefully one day I can finally improve the grade for this national park. But as of right now, I just can't. I just can't. Those were some really stinky parts there. Don't think that all the parks are going to be like this though. These parks are very much in the minority. Thank you for watching the first part of my National Parks tier list. In the next part, I will be covering my C tier and B tier parks. That video will probably be longer than this one because, oh boy, there are a lot of parks in C and B tier. Subscribe to the channel with notifications on so that you can catch it when it drops. Stay tuned and I will see you next time. 
Bye bye.